Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglodytes Guitar Show. Today, we're going to take a trip to Japan with a guitar listed by G-Club that I found on Reverb about a week or so ago. So it's listed as a Gibson Custom Shop 59 Les Paul with a 5A premium grade quilt top. So let's check this thing out. Ah! Interesting. They definitely do have a pretty nice quilt top on here. Not necessarily book matched or anything, but it has an interesting vibe. The top is the main thing that wanted me to share this with everyone because it's not often that you see quilt in a straight pattern like this. Usually it's a little bit more wavy, but this one has the lines like similar to flame, but it's the super wide stuff. It definitely just looks like some waves rippling within the ocean and it's got a really cool color to it. Almost like the sun is just setting over top of like a dark frigid cold sea. But besides the intricate figuring and the interesting colors, there's a few other attributes that makes this one special primarily our pick guard and pickup covers. Now this is something that Gibson does on high-end art guitars. Occasionally, they do this extra engraving. And this one was done by Daryl Thornbury. No, not Nigel. And according to the listing, he is a metal engraving specialist in the custom shop at that time. And I'll be honest, the metal engraving doesn't do a lot for me on most guitars, but for whatever reason, this one, it works. It's like a big metal ship sailing the ocean. It's one of those times where I kind of wish they also would have done the tailpiece and the bridge. Maybe it would be pushing it if we did the knobs too. That might make it too overboard. Oh, and notice that we do not have a poker chip on this one at all. The nice thing about this thing though is if you don't like those appointments, you can easily just take them off, install different pickup covers, put a different pick guard on here, put a poker chip on if you want, and you'll still have this awesome quilty top. But something else that you could not turn back to natural without doing some more serious modifications is the inlays on the fretboard. They're abalone. This is one of those times where I think it actually works. It's got such intricate patterns to it. Abalone doesn't always look like this. That's some super premium grade stuff there. That's a lot of different colorings and a lot of different swirls. And the listing is saying that we have a Madagascar rosewood fretboard. But what I found funny is it says beautiful Avalon. I'm guessing <laughs> I did a Google search for Avalon. I didn't come up with anything. So I think what he meant was Abalone and then an E at the end. I thought it looked so special. I thought, is there there's something else that I'm not sure of? But no, I think it's just Abalone. But then we move on to the headstock. The truss rod cover has some additional metal engraving to it. But, you know, I can really appreciate the fact that they left the headstock alone on this. They could have easily colored over the logo to match the guitar. They could have done a quilted veneer over the face of the headstock instead of the black holly veneer. But they chose to let that part of this 59 Les Paul be. So I think with all this coming together, this is an art guitar that really works for me. Because it's still fancy over the top, but not too fancy. I don't know if I agree with the truss rod cover though. I probably just would have went for the metal knobs. But now let's go ahead and switch over to the back. Because remember, you got this nice dark ebony-like top here. And then the back, it's interestingly enough, you know, just like a regular 59 reissue. It's got that nice light mahogany stain to it, at least in the direct sunlight. It looks like down here it's trying to tell you that it also appears a darker color, but not quite a dark back gold top or anything. And here we can see we have metal back plates, which... Yeah, it kind of clashes back here. They, they could have done like a quilted veneer on the back of this instrument to make these guys tie in better, but I think they were just trying to make it fancy. I would have loved to see the tuners get the engraving. Oh, maybe even the tuner tips. It's always hard to draw that fine line between is it too much or not enough? But we even have a shot of the original case candy. So this was initially sent over to Japan. They always get all the cool stuff. And it's LPR9Q, standing for Les Paul Reissue 1959, and Q meaning quilt top. But what shocked me most about this guitar is the fact that it was made in 2005. You do not see that many art guitars from this era. That doesn't mean they don't exist. You can realistically find them all the way back into the 90s. I mean, you could technically extend it all the way down to the 70s with the, the Les Paul. But just all these features, the fact that it's been kept this pristine for 15 years, it's just such a beautiful guitar that I thought it was worthy of sharing. So if you're interested in this guitar, how much is it for you? Well, it's $6,980.70 with 174.52 shipping. But you gotta remember that comes from Japan. 
I just ordered two guitars from Japan, I think about a week ago. They're already here, so we're going to have a fun Japanese guitar unboxing episode very soon. So if you're interested in this one, it won't take long for it to get here. And to be fair, that's not a too bad of a price. I mean, a brand new 59 historic reissue this year is going to cost you about 6500 so sure, why not get one of these that's a little bit fancier? It's not going to be as historically built. Like this one won't be made with the hot hide glue. And this one won't have all the detailed 59 specs, but you know, it's going to be a pretty good guitar anyways. And it appears to be on consignment. So for our playing demo today, let's go ahead and hear a 59 Les Paul reissue. <laughs> The only question left, would you rock the quilt top metal engraved Les Paul standard or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.